first we will prepare a format the starting point is sales minus the first number we will reduce here would be c o g s c o g s full form would be cost of goods sold and the easiest way to think of cost of goods sold is it is simply the manufacturing cost so you say sales minus c o g s and what you would get here is the gross profit from gross profit the first number you would reduce would be s g and a s g and a what would that be selling general and administrative expenses so all other business related expenses of this organization you would classify into sga salary paid to your employees would be a part of sga marketing expenses administrative distribution everything which is operating apart from cogs and depreciation is a part of sga when you say gross profit minus sga what you get is gross profit minus sga will give you ebitda ebi tda ebit sga full form was selling general and administrative expenses ebitda full form is earning before earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization then you would say minus depreciation and amortization and what you would get here would be called ebit what would be full form of ebit earnings before interest and taxes then you would say minus interest which would get you ebt and minus taxes minus taxes which would get you earning after taxes now when you write earning after taxes at the bottom say before sorry earning after taxes from income from continuing operations eat from income from continuing operations okay so i'm going to repeat the format for you we started with sales sales minus cogs gross profit minus sga was ebitda minus depreciation was ebit minus interest was ebt minus taxes was eat from continuing operations now this ebitda here is called cash operating profit ebitda is called cash operating profit and ebit is called operating profit the difference in these two is the word cash and the reason why ebitda is called cash operating profit because difference between ebitda and ebit is depreciation and depreciation is a non cash expenditure so if your ebit is 500 you would say fine my operating profit is 500 but if depreciation was 100 then you would say my ebitda was 600 and my cash operating profit was 600 following the intuition so now if this is your operating profit these expenses here so cogs sga and depreciation and amortization these expense combinedly are called the operating expenses of an organization whereas interest and taxes are considered non operating expenditures cogs sga depreciation are operating expenses interest and taxes non operating expenses now what is the intuition 
behind calling them as operating and non operating first now if you observe the format carefully if i say sales minus total of all the operating expenses what will i get sales minus total of all the operating expenses what will i get operating profit which is ebit the reason why interest and taxes are called non operating because interest is considered taking loan is considered a financial decision not a operating decision right a company can do same business but have different amounts of loan and therefore we say that it is a non operating decision so we call them as non operating expenses so when you want to compare two organizations and your idea of comparison is to understand how well they are in their business model then the appropriate number to compare would be ebit not net profit does it make sense to you now this cogs classification of cost is called functional classification sga classification of cost is called functional classification depreciation is called classification by nature interest is classification by nature and taxes classification by nature this is a part of study session 7 okay write down i'll explain you what it means cogs is by function sga is by function depreciation by nature interest by nature and taxes by nature see now there are 10 different ways of available for classifying a cost when we were in corporate finance we learned we can classify it either as fixed cost or variable cost another way of classifying we were just saw either operating cost or non operating cost an alternate way of classification is cost classified by function or cost classified by nature the idea is cogs is considered as a manufacturing activity so since all manufacturing function related expenses are classified here therefore classified by function sga is again sales general or admin which is a part of business function so classification by function but these expenses you cannot allocate to a specific function in the organization therefore we say classified by nature okay so there can be a lousy theory question structured around this that which of the following cost are classified by function and then the options would be interest taxes and sga and then your answer would be sga of course are we fine with this now let's take if you have really remembered the format we start with sales minus cogs that will give us gross profit minus sga selling general and administrative expenses that will get us ebitda minus depreciation that would get us ebit minus interest that would be ebt minus taxes eat from continuing operations now let us think of business model of itc originally a tobacco company but always extremely sensitive to government policy especially with respect to policies around tobacco and therefore that fear of possibility of government banning tobacco forced them to diversify their business model right so currently company is operating in multiple business areas of course the popular one is tobacco what else hotels and fiamma devils fmcg and paper paper plus stationery classmate notebooks are there biscuits let's call let's classify this as confectionery it's sunfeast uh, is a brand what else yes clothing so they are in retail wills lifestyle is their business what else they are also into it business are they they also have those e chopals 
what else and what they also have is agarbatti business and one popular joke with them is one product that takes you closer to the god another product that brings god closer to you now imagine so in fact uh, similar story with uh, hul in india they haven't diversified their business model but at one stage they had large number of brands and then hul hindustan unilever lux life boy the, these are the products so then they went to a consultant and what he advises he said you people are focusing on too many brands you need to consolidate and that was the time when they decided to shut down or sell multiple brands or only focus on few few key brands so that they could drive more growth into business now let us say we are xyz company and we have three business models or three business units a b c we have decided going forward that c is not to be continued okay so today morning in the board meeting you took a decision that c is to be shut down and in the afternoon a customer came to you asking products of unit c will you say no to him no you would say fine if there is an opportunity to make sales and make profit why not so till the time you don't shut down that business if customers come you try to keep on making sales so the profit that you would be generating from this business this would be called as income from discontinued operations okay now imagine what is the idea of doing this let us say sales of the organization was 1000 1000 and 1000 in each of the unit cost was 500 in each of the unit so that would get us profit before taxes 500 let us say a tax rate of 30% how much 150 and that would get us profit after tax as 350 now the organization has to prepare a complete financial statement that means for the consolidated operations there are two ways of doing it let's say first call this as a total sales 3000 total cost 1500 so profit before tax 1500 taxes 450 and net profit 1050 this is the first way of preparing your consolidated financial statement now the problem with this is that when you're preparing financial statement like this in a way you're misguiding your investors because what your investor might end up thinking that even next year sales would be 3000 but the reality is that next year you are going to discontinue the operations in unit c and therefore your sales is not going to be 3000 and therefore this would be considered an inappropriate way of presenting your financial statement so the appropriate way recommended by accounting standards you will say my total sales 2000 now you just considering these two then you would say my cost is 1000 which would get us profit of profit before tax of 1000 then you would say tax of 300 profit after tax from continuing operations 700 and then you would say plus net profit from discontinued operations net of tax so that number of 350 you would add separately and then you would get the total of 1050 understood the logic so that net profit from discontinued operations you would report separately so that investor clearly understands that this would not be repeated next year so please write down should i read out any part for you so let's see if we can solve question around this can i clear up the screen kapil done 